Hello everyone, my name is John and I'm the science educator for Children's Museum Houston and today we are going to become geologists. Geologists are scientists that study the gaseous, solid, and liquid matter that's in and on planet Earth. And today we are going to practice a technique they use called core sampling just using some Play-Doh. Let's get started. To be a Play-Doh geologist, you just need a handful of different colors. You don't have to have the same colors I do, but what I recommend you doing is assigning each color to something that's on planet Earth. So our green is going to be like topsoil, grass, the very top layer. We're going to be searching for water, so we're going to add some of this blue Play-Doh throughout. And then we have sand and clay. And then we have the bedrock, the hard stuff that's a little deeper than this kind of topsoil area. So what you'll need in addition to the Play-Doh is you'll need kind of a plastic container. You could even do this in a bowl if you want. And you'll need a straw. This is going to be our core sampler that we're going to use in just a second. So we're going to start by laying out our rock. So in whatever container you end up using, we're going to press that in. Two, and I think I've got a little too much here, so I'm going to actually pull a little bit out. We're going to add some here. Then we're going to add a little bit of water throughout, and it'll make a little more sense. Once we start making our core samples, it'll make more sense of why I'm just putting it in random locations. But if you don't have something that is clear like this, you won't know where your layers are. So I'm going to stack some clay and sand across the area now. Let's do a little more on this side. I think I actually need just a little. No, I think that's good. So we're just making our cake right now. Then we're going to add our final layer on top. I'm going to kind of smash this down. And this is going to be kind of our topsoil grassy layer and then we're ready to start core sampling. Now the reason geologists try to look beneath Earth's surface is that we can really tell what's happened in history. We can see, we can maybe find fossils, we can find where water sources are, we can find where oil is, and today we're searching for water. So although you can kind of see where it is, I'm going to spin this around a little bit to show you that if you can't see all the way through, why you actually need core sampling. So when you take your straw, you'll hold it kind of like this and you'll just punch it right into your Play-Doh. So let's test it out. Slowly start to move the straw out. And we have a little core sample. You can see it from here down. And then you just kind of squeeze it out And then we'll lay this core sample out because we didn't find any water. And we'll get a close-up of that in just a little bit. So then we'll just keep making punches. And twist the straw for our hunt. Oh, we might have, we have a little bit of water there. Let's take a couple more samples. And like I said, I've had to do this several times. I've had, you've seen me have multiple failed attempts. <laughs> and we'll squeeze this out. Now we've definitely found on what side the water is located. This sample was taken from the front half. And then these samples have been taken from the back. So you can draw a little diagram to show where the water has been found and where it hasn't been found. And another waterless sample to one more. Let's try and see where the line is because it's somewhere over here where the water is right next to the bedrock. So let's see, we'll pull this out and then we'll get close-ups of our samples. We are really close. Actually, I think we found it. Right where we have grass, clay and sand, water, and then we have a little bit 
of bedrock. So give it a try, and you can even add more colors, more layers. Good luck, geologists.